One of the special triangles we've, we're studying is the 45, 45, 90. And basically, uh, from your past experiences, you realize this is an isosceles triangle. These two angles are equal. So these two sides are going to be equal. Also, you know that the largest side is opposite the largest angle, and that would be this side right here, the hypotenuse. And not only is it larger than the other two sides, it's the square root of two times larger. Let me demonstrate that for you. If I come to this situation here, you can see that the, I have a 45, 45, 90. A and B are up here. A is 1.98 and B is 1.98. And the hypotenuse right now is, by according to the, the just measurement by the computer, it's 2.8. But there's another way to calculate this hypotenuse. Notice that it's 1.98 times the square root of 2. Uh, and the square root of 2 is approximately 1.41. And look, 1.98 1 times uh, 1.41 is 2.8. And no matter how I do it, no matter how I change the size of this triangle, the side opposite the 90 is always the square root of 2 times bigger than any of the other two sides, in this case 3.03. .03. So now, once you know that, there are basically two types of triangles that you're going to see in this class. So let me demonstrate that to you. This is the x, x, x square root of 2. Let me give you a situation that you're going to have to solve. If I give you this triangle, and I ask you to solve this triangle, and this is all you're seeing. Well, it's a 45, 45, 90, so therefore you know that if this is 6, you've had harder problems than this, you know that this is 6. Now, instead of doing the Pythagorean theorem to find out the missing side, follow the form. x, x, x square root of 2. That means that this side opposite the hypotenuse is 6 square root of 2, and you're done, and you don't have to do the Pythagorean theorem. It's a shortcut. Uh, very special triangle. It comes up in a lot of situations, some of which we'll, we'll, I've demonstrated on the homework problems. The next situation you can get into is if you get this triangle and you're asked to solve it. Well, it's a little harder, this one, but if you follow the form, you can see that x, x, x square root of 2. Well, if that's 14 square root of 2, that means that x is 14. And so the two sides you're looking for are 14 and 14, and you can make pretty easy work out of these kinds of problems. Practice them, ace the homework assignments, and you're going to do well with this, this, these kinds of problems.